The Mariana Trench is the deepest known place on Earth. Researchers have gone as far to say that we know more about the surface of Mars than what lives at the very bottom of the Mariana Trench. Being also the least known place on the planet, it still managed to give researchers quite a fright with the monsters lurking in its depths. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean and it measures about 2,550 kilometers long and about 69 kilometers wide. The depth of the deepest spot on the Mariana Trench is about 11,000 meters. To compare, if Mount Everest, which is the world's highest mountain measuring at 8,848 meters, were dropped into the Mariana Trench, there would still be about 2 kilometers of water above its peak. For ages, it was believed that life there was impossible in such a monstrously deep place, but it was proved wrong eventually. Here are four mysterious creatures that were found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Number 4. In 1960, Jacques Picard was the first human to descend to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The researcher reached the ocean bed in a deep diving bath escape. After the 11 kilometer descent which took him almost 5 hours, Jacques Picard and his colleagues spent only 20 minutes at the bottom. Based on what they saw during the journey, the researchers claim that life does exist in the greatest depths of the ocean. At the bottom of the Mariana Trench they discovered creatures previously unknown to science. Huge mollusks alongside strange fish. There are enormous unidentified creatures to this day. The discovery of life at a depth of 11,000 meters is not the only thing that made this dive famous. Years later, the declassification of Jacques Picard's logbook revealed information that makes your blood run cold. About one and a half kilometers underwater, the scientists make a horrifying entry. There's a large disc-shaped object seen through the observation porthole that appears to be accompanying the bath escape. The object is maneuvering with clear intention of studying us. The object was seen clearly, there was no mistake, and the object was clearly looking at them. It's hard to imagine what would have happened if the bathyscape had come in contact with the unknown object. Fortunately, in a few minutes it disappeared, causing no harm. The question of who or what it is will remain forever a mystery. Among the numerous versions of the story, there is one that says the mysterious object was produced by unknown water civilizations. Yet another explanation claims it was a prehistoric underwater creature. Insufficient knowledge about these objects suggests that they can really turn out to be produced by other civilizations. Number 3. A Japanese dry cargo ship floating over the Mariana Trench was struck against the board so severely that the ship literally sprung. Surprisingly enough, the water surface remained totally still and there were no reefs or other obstacles in sight. The crew tried to figure out what had happened but found nothing. What monster could have struck the cargo so furiously and how big could it be? Number 2. In 1985, the Glomar Challenger, a prototype of modern oil drilling platforms, conducted the investigation of the ocean bed in the Mariana Trench. In order to determine whether to start drilling the ocean bed, the researchers decided to lower into the water, 11 kilometers below the surface, an automatic probe, equipped with echo sounders and high sensitivity telecameras, and it was sent underwater. A few hours later, while the investigation was still in progress, the echo sounders suddenly captured strange noises, and the cables holding the probe stretched, as if someone was trying to snap them off. The scientists decided to suspend the investigation and lift the equipment to the surface and determine the cause of the behavior. But the underwater platform did not move. It seemed to be held by some unknown force, with the cables stretched to capacity. After a non-stop three-hour struggle, they did manage to lift the equipment and only because the unknown force had seemed to release the cables. The researchers gaped at the terrible picture. The probe looked as if it had been in the mouth of an underwater creature. In addition, the crew heard loud noises from underwater. The platform had traces of bites and some steel cables were snapped off. It feels scary to even think of something that could do it. The ocean bed lying 11,000 kilometers below sea level had been considered to be uninhabited. These officials said that the damage was caused by the platform catching on a cliff which was an attempt at preventing the spread of panic among the fearful crew members. But everybody on board the ship realized that there was something huge and extremely powerful below the water. 
Apart from the damage, there was also those terrifying, gut-wrenching sounds that failed to be explained. A sensational version of the story was later voiced by biologists. The only creature capable of damaging the cables and platform was a gigantic relic underwater monster, Megalodon. The idea is rather controversial, as first, the Megalodon is a huge prehistoric shark that was considered to be extinct a million and a half years ago. But it turns out that the Megalodon is not extinct. Instead, it took refuge in the depths of the Mariana Trench. This idea was confirmed later when scientists discovered a gigantic tooth the size of a palm in the vicinity of the Mariana Trench. The researchers have confirmed the tooth did belong to the Megalodon. Number 1. The crew of a cargo ship, Federico Padre, saw a giant water column along its course. Just imagine the terror seizing the sailors. The terrified crew members saw the column of water all along the cargo ship for some time and then it disappeared. Imagine what could have happened if the giant monster that was creating the water column attacked the ship. What kind of creature can create such a huge wake and how big could it have been? still remains a mystery. But these aren't the only stories. There are numerous other equally inexplicable riddles, and not a single solution so far. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the like button, share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up with my next video.